There's a feeling comes a feeling and it sets my brain a reeling when I'm listening to the music of a military band. Any tune like Yankee Doodle simply sets me off my noodle. It's that patriotic something that no one can understand. Way down south in the land of cotton, melody untiring. Ain't that inspiring? Hurrah, hurrah, we'll join the Jubilee. And that's going some for the Yankees by gum. Red, white, and blue, I am for you. Honest, you're a grand old rag. You're a grand old rag. You're a high-flying flag. And forever in peace may you wave. You're the emblem of the land I love, the home of the free and the brave. Every heart beats true under red, white, and blue, where there's never a boast or brag. But should old acquaintance be forgot, keep your eye on the grand old rag. A gift from the people of France to commemorate their country's close bonds with the colonies during the Revolution, America's Lady of Liberty has stood faithful vigil in New York Harbor for nearly 70 years. Building the towering figure and transporting it across the Atlantic was a monumental task. An artist's sketch made in the 1870s reveals how the statue rose over the rooftops of Paris during its construction. The work was supervised by Frederick Auguste Bartholdi, brilliant French sculptor who conceived the idea during a visit to New York. The hand and torch were sent to America in 1876 and shown at the Philadelphia Centennial Exposition, marking the 100th anniversary of the signing of the Declaration of Independence. Civil War veterans joined in the patriotic rallies held to raise funds for a pedestal for the statue. In 1885, Work began on reassembling the figure, which had been dismantled in France for shipment to the United States in 210 packing cases. The head was completed last. Here, craftsmen working from the inside rivet copper sheeting over the framework of Liberty's 17-foot-high face. By the rocket's red glare, President Cleveland dedicated Miss Liberty in 1886. Half a million visitors journey each year to Bedloe's Island, on which the Copper Colossus stands. Countless thousands of youngsters have thrilled to their first glimpse of her. Mounted on a pedestal of concrete and granite, her body fashioned out of metal, she is still every inch a warm, inspiring symbol of man's faith and freedom.
A news magazine cameraman from the torch films the New York City skyline more than half a mile away. 300 feet above the bay, here is a camera eye view of the tiny Bedloes Island, once an army fort with 70 guns and a garrison of 350 men. Visitors can, if they wish, climb inside the statue to the head, which is 10 feet thick and will hold 30 persons. Liberty's gallant, ageless lady have come immigrants of all nations. They have found the meaning of the famous sonnet by Emma Lazarus. Mother of exiles, from her beacon hand glows worldwide welcome. Her mild eyes command the air-bridged harbor that twin cities frame. Keep ancient lands your storied pomp, cries she with silent lips. Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free, the wretched refuse of your teeming shores. Send these, the homeless, tempest-tossed to me. I lift my lamp beside the golden door. Get your gun, get your gun. Johnny, show the hun, you're a son of a gun. Hoist the flag and let her fly. Yankee, do, 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 or die. Pack your little kit, show your grit, do your bit. Yankee to the ranks, from the towns and the tanks. Make your mother proud of you and the old red, white, and blue. Coming over, and we won't. Come. 